Okay. Uh, all group 17 elements are non-metals. Okay, and therefore they are a heat and electricity insulator. If they are a metal, then they are a conductor. Okay, all metals are good heat and electricity uh, conductors. But group 17s, they are non-metals and therefore they are a heat and electricity insulator. Okay. Mm. So this table shows uh, the physical properties of group 17 elements. Uh, okay, from fluorine to astatine. Um, the proton number and the electrons arrangement is less important. Okay, uh, you just need to know that they have seven valence electron. Okay, you can see uh, all the valence electrons are seven, so they have seven valence electron. Okay, and then uh, the, their color. Uh, you need to memorize their color. Okay, uh, this one astatine is uh, not important, so you don't need to memorize this. Eh? Okay, you don't need to memorize the colors of astatine. Uh, let me write here. This one not important. Eh? But um. The color for chlorines, uh, uh, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodines are uh, important, okay? Except except fluorine, uh, okay? This pale yellow. Uh, usually they won't ask uh, what ask you about the colors of fluorines. Usually they will ask uh, uh, chlorine, bromine, and iodine, uh, okay? Uh, this is also less important, but uh, you uh, you advise to memorize, uh, okay? You advise to memorize, but aesthetine you can totally forget about it, okay? Uh, they won't ask aesthetine, okay? So uh, chlorine, yellowish green, bromines, uh, reddish brown, okay, or dark red uh, liquids, and iodine is a uh, black solid. Uh, but if we, we heat it, then it will, it will become a purple vapor. Okay, initially it's a black, right? If you heat it uh, straight away, it will become a gas, and that gas uh, is uh, purple in color. Okay, and then we see the melting point. Uh, the melting point and the boiling point increases uh, down the group from fluorine to astatine uh, okay melting point and boiling point they uh, increase uh, size of the atom uh, okay down the group the the size increases okay the size increases uh, and that this is due to the increase of numbers of electron shell uh, okay two shell three shell four five six shell okay so when the number of shells increases, then uh, the size of the atoms will increase. Eh? Okay, so from fluorines to astatine. Okay, density. The densities of group seventeen elements uh, also increases down the group, and the reason is same as group one. Eh? Okay, uh, so down the groups, the mass increase and the volume increase, but the increase of the mass is uh, higher. The rate of increments of the mass eh, is higher than the rate of increments of the volume, and therefore the density increases so this is same as uh same as uh, group 18 group 1 okay group 17 all the same okay down the group the re the the density will increase okay the melting point and the po boiling point so we can see that sir, the melting point increases and uh, the boiling point also increases sir, from fluorine to astatine uh, actually it increased a lot okay see the last one the melting point is almost 600 already Mm, but uh, this one, the first one is uh, fluorine, uh, only about 50. Just 50 only. Uh, so you see, the melting point and the boiling point increases uh, from fluorine to astatine uh, as the number of uh, shells increases. Okay, Number of shells increases, size become bigger. So, okay, so that is the melting point and boiling point. Uh, in exam, you need to explain this. Okay, You need to explain uh, why why uh, down the group from fluorines to astatine eh, the melting point increases and the boiling point increases why okay you need to tell why down the group okay go down from go down the group eh, the melting point and boiling point increases why the reason is down the group okay the uh, number of shell increases so the number of shell increases eh, and uh, when the number of shell increases the size increases eh, the size of the atoms or the size of the molecule increases okay and then this is uh this non-metals and uh, the intermolecular force between non-metals are uh the van der wall force right so the force between the molecules are van der wall force and van der wall force depends on the number of electrons in the, the molecule or the size of the molecule okay so down the group down the group the size of the molecule increases and therefore the when the wall force increase eh? okay and the, when the wall force increase then more energy is needed to overcome the force of attractions between the particles what is when the wall force eh? uh, when the wall force 
is the force between uh, non uh, non metals. Okay, and uh, when the wall force, uh, the strength of the when the wall force depends on the number of electrons in the molecule eh? or the uh, or the size of the atom. Okay, uh, the physical state eh, also change from gas to liquid, and from then liquids to solid. Eh? Okay, so for example. Fluorine and uh, chlorines are gases. Okay, fluorine gas, chlorine gas. Uh, they are the gases at room temperature. Bromine is a liquid. So you see the physical state change from uh, gas to liquid. Eh? Gas to liquid. And uh, iodine and astatine are solid. They are solid. Okay, so it's changed from uh, gas to liquid and then to solid. Okay. So the physical state uh, change from gas to liquid and then to solid. Okay, that that is due to the increase uh, of the melting point and boiling point. So this is because uh, the intermolecular attractive force, uh, the Van der Waals force, increase when the increasing size of the atoms or molecule. Eh? 